Hi there, I have an infinite sum problem for you and let's see how we can solve it. So in general, if we have a series, we define a sequence that is sk. Instead of adding infinitely many terms, we just add up to k and goes from 2 to k ln of this sequence. 1 minus 1 over n squared. And I will try to find what is sk in general. And if I take this sk limit as k goes to infinity, this will be equal to my sum. So I don't know if it's convergent, but this test also gives you if it's convergent. So let's write this thing. I know that n is from 2 to k. So this is n squared minus 1. So I can separate it as ln of n minus 1 times n plus 1. n minus 1, n plus 1, over I have n squared. So let's write it like this. And let's kind of group them. So I'm just writing this sum, n goes from 2 to k. So this will be, I can write it like all of the, all of the ones at the denominator, I can write them as plus, and all of the ones at the denominator, they are going to be minus. So let's say ln n minus 1 minus ln n and for this part uh, so i wrote from small to big so let's also write this part from small to big so this will be minus ln n and this will be plus ln plus one and i don't really need to do this but let's also group these things so i i have two terms here and two terms here Let's write them as two different sums. Here, I can do that because I know that this is just a finite sum. If it was infinite sum, I may, uh, uh, it's not guaranteed that I can do this. So I have n from 2 to k, ln n minus 1, minus ln n, n plus, n goes from 2 to k, minus ln n, plus ln n plus 1. And now let's open all terms. So I'm first writing this first sum in this parenthesis. So if I put n is equal to 2, this will be ln 1 minus ln 2. If I put n is equal to 2, sorry, I already put 2. If I put 3, this will be plus ln 2 minus ln 3. And if you notice, all of these terms are going to go in the end. Uh, the next term is going to be ln3 minus ln4. So this ln3 will also go. So this will go plus minus up to, if I put k, ln k minus 1 and minus ln k. And this thing will also go. So everything inside will go except for the first and last term. So this was my first sum. And second sum is going to be, so I'm putting n is equal to 2 minus ln 2 plus ln 3. And if I put n is equal to 3 minus ln 3 plus ln 4 minus ln 4. And it, it's again going like this, ln 5. So all of the terms here are cancelling out. And this is going up to, so if I put minus ln k and plus ln k plus 1. And this term also is also cancelling, everything on the inside cancels out. So if I look, I have minus ln k left here, ln k plus 1 left here, ln 1 left and ln minus ln 2 is left here. So let's group them ln1 is 0, so I'm not going to write it. I have minus ln2, and I have plus ln, uh, yes, k plus 1, minus ln k. So this is s2k. So this is just sk. And I want to find this limit. So if I now say limit as k goes to infinity, this is going to be infinity and this is minus infinity, but I can say this is zero. So let's try to group this. Uh, this is just a constant, so I keep it same. I know because of the 
properties of logarithm, I can group this, these things. So this is k plus 1 over k. And now if I take limit, this limit will just go to k, this limit will just go to 1, and since ln is continuous, I can just swap these limits. So this limit is going to be ln of 1. So limit as go k goes to infinity as k. This thing is just a constant, so this is minus ln 2, and this is going to converge to ln of 1. And the ln 1 is 0, so this limit is going to be equal to minus ln 2, which is equal to our sum, and that's the answer.